So can you tell us um, about your work? Well, right now we were working with Ato Japan and Obro Japan, two of the novel Japans. And what we did, we worked with human tissue. So each, each time there is an organ donor, a heart donor, and in the case they cannot donate the whole heart, they can only donate the valves, we get the coronary arteries, and then we try the different um, anti-migrant drugs in those arteries. So we can see if those anti-migrant drugs are safe from the cardiovascular point of view, as if they have vasocontractile responses. So in this case, for example, in our study, we checked if Ato Japan and Ubro Japan had vasocontractile um, properties on human coronary arteries, especially in the distal portion, that is where usually uh, females uh, have higher ischemic events and are more relevant for migrant research. Uh, but we also checked in meningeal arteries that we obtained from neurosurgeries, like the leftovers from neurosurgeries, and from cerebral arteries that we also obtained from neurosurgeries. So we tried the different compounds. And it was really interesting because we tried different concentrations of atoyepan and ubroyepan from lower than the clinically relevant to higher to the clinically relevant. And we saw that both were really potent in cranial arteries, that is cerebral and meningeal, but in coronary they were not so potent in inhibiting the responses to CRP. Because while in the coronary arteries we check the contractor responses, in cerebral, meningeal, and also coronary, we checked how well they displaced the CRP responses. Mm -hmm. And we saw they were way more potent in cranial arteries, and especially at Toyepant. At Toyepant, at really, really low concentrations, was able to displace the CRP responses. While in coronaries, the responses were not so, so potent, which may represent a cardiovascular um, advantage for patients that are under Ubroyepant or Atoyepant. 